New developments in a death investigation involving a family from Dover right after Christmas. Three family members were found dead inside their home on Wilson's Way last Thursday. And today, the Norfolk County DA named the case a murder-suicide. But as NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin reports tonight, that doesn't answer all of the questions in this case. A tragic update to a family killed in Dover the Thursday after Christmas. The Norfolk District Attorney's Office now confirming the investigation is being treated as a murder-suicide. Officials saying it's believed the father and husband, Rakesh Kamal, shot and killed his wife, Tina Kamal, and his 18-year-old daughter, Ariana. He then allegedly turned the gun on himself in their Wilson's way home. Such a tragedy, and each time we hear about a homicide and a, a homicide followed by suicide, you know, our hearts just go out to this entire community and to all of their loved ones impacted. Thank you so much. Hey, Sarong Siminski is the deputy director of Jane Doe, Inc., a group specializing in domestic abuse and safety for all. She says this time of year can be difficult for many. Around holidays. Holidays, certainly as families come together and tensions rise, you know, there certainly can be these kinds of trends that we see. In Massachusetts, there has been, I believe now, up to four homicides in the month of December uh, related to domestic violence. Strong Siminski adds that the best thing people can do is to be vigilant for signs of abuse of power and control in relationships, to be active bystanders and community supporters. Certainly it can feel that it happens behind closed doors, but more often than not, if we, when we talk about domestic abuse, there is often this sense of it only happening within the home, but we are all part of larger communities. Now, investigators have not officially given a motive in this case, so still more to come on that. Reporting in Dover, I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston. Kirsten, thank you.